Because if you was really red pill, you would look at the genetically modified food that they force feeding us. And you would have a problem with that. You would look at people like Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos buying up hundreds of acres of farmland. You would have a problem with that. No man should have a right to own more land than he can actually use. I don't care how much money you got. So because you got enough money, you can buy the globe. You can't buy the earth. You can't own everything. Money can't buy you every damn thing. And besides, who has the right to sell land to them? To, to them? That land belongs to people. That land is planted earth. No man has a right to claim more land than he can use. This is a problem. That's the mindset of red pill. Y'all don't even understand what y'all talking about. You are not awakened. You're still in the matrix. You know, we have this whole phenomenon going on with this red pill thing. I just went down another rabbit hole. Thanks to one of these people on my channel that attacked me for making that video about Hafiz and pearly things. Uh, I went down a rabbit hole and it became clear to me in doing the research on that topic that the red pill isn't really what they claim to be. You see, when I started this channel, I came out with a sort of apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic type of introduction. And the reason why I created that introduction is because this is where my mind is. If you want to talk about somebody that's a real red pill, it would be me. It's not these dudes. Because the red pill has nothing to do with women. It is about the system of oppression and government that we live under. It's not about women. And this is why my introduction is like this. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it's true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. You see, an introduction like that, that is the mindset of a red pill person. That is the mindset of a person that has awakened within the system of the matrix and said no more. That we need to come out of the system. That we need to figure out a way to get our other people out of the system. That we need to start rescuing people out of the system. But the truth of the matter is, if you listen to the so-called red pill community, they're all about women. And that is not red pill, people. They are blue pill as it gets because they have no interest in breaking out of this system. In fact, what they want is a system that is restructured to benefit men over women. That's what they want. What they want is a system that puts women in check. That's what they want. They don't want a system of, of freedom. They don't want a system where the human beings are autonomous. What they want is a system of more control more social control, more, more control over one's actions. But they want that control to be centered and directed at women. That's what they want. And they come at brothers like me because when they hear me talk about women or human beings, that they are their own people, they get mad at me because all they hear is, we don't have a right to control the female and they don't want to hear that. You know, y'all like to talk about Pookies and Ray Rays. Y'all like to talk about the dudes that's always fighting. But there's a reason why fighters fight and cowards don't. Fighters fight because fighters don't let nobody push them around. Because I'm not going to play with nobody. You're not about to treat me like your slave. You're not about to make me your property. You're not about to push me around and, and bend me and break me and, 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 and do anything to me that you want to do to me. That's why I've always been in trouble. I'm not a troublemaker. I'm not a dude that start problems. I'm not a dude that pick on people. I've been the one that stood up for people. When I was doing time, they had this quiet cat in there. I think the dude was from like a small town in Arkansas. Real mild man to do, you know what I'm saying? Some dude was picking on him. You know, like, like you know, trying him and stuff. And I happened to walk down the hallway and see it. Now remember, I'm, I'm small, I'm muscular, but I'm small. I'm maybe 162, 163 pounds. Like I'm strong, I'm, I'm diesel, you know what I'm saying? I've been in that, I've been hitting that iron. I'm, I'm, I'm diesel, but I'm, I'm slim. 
And I was like, damn, but you know, Lee do it alone. You see, he ain't about that. You know what I'm saying? Leave him be, bro. He ain't, he ain't wall. I mean, you know, you you on a compound full of apes and gorillas and, and, and all type of wild animals. Why are you picking on him? Why are you picking on a teddy bear? They got plenty of dudes on this compound. And this is what I said. I said, man, look, you on trouble. They got plenty of dudes on this compound that's about some trouble. Why don't you go pick on one of them? Dude gonna tell me, like who? I still don't say, like me, y'all. I'm trying not to curse. But you know, I still don't say, like me. Oh, Kush, man, that ain't for me and you. But leave that dude alone. That's what the Pookie did. That's what Pookie did. This Pookie has always stood up for people. This Pookie stood up when I seen police harassing a sister one time. Went over there and checked the police. This Pookie seen some, uh, uh, some, some white dudes picking on a young black dude one time. Went over and I stole on the white boys actually. I didn't go there talking. I went over and got busy. You know what I'm saying? That's what this Pookie do. The reason why men like me fight because we can't stand to see evil. I'm, I, I'm like Ghost Rider. You know, Ghost Rider is like a, some kind of, he's not a, a, a hero, you know what I'm saying, so to speak. He's, he's got, a, got an evilness in him. But he, but he goes after evil. He uses his evil to go after evil. My bad in me was always targeted towards evil. That's how I spent my life. This is why I stayed in trouble. This is why, you know, I never had a job. You know what I'm saying? When I left the, when I left the military, I hustled and got my own business, came out of prison, started my own business. I never had a job, man, because I can't work nowhere. Because I'm not gonna let nobody talk to me like they like 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 I'm a piece of crap. You're not about to have me walking around on eggshells because I need this job. You're turning me into a brawl. You're not about to punk me out, man, because I need the job. You're not about to do me like that. I ain't gonna let nobody do me like that. I will be homeless first. Yes, I will be sleeping under the bridge, man, before I let somebody abuse me just because I need something. And all you dudes in the red pill, y'all the kind of dudes, y'all are the kind of dudes that would have me under the bridge. If I had to go to you types of dudes to get a job, none of y'all would hire me. I could be qualified as heck. None of y'all would hire me. Because I represent the kind of man y'all don't like, the real red pill. The real man that's awakened. I'm not around here talking about money, 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 money. Get your money, 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 money. All y'all dudes do is uphold a system that y'all should be naturally opposing. This is what I say in my intro. You have sold your soul to be a part of a system that you should naturally oppose. That is the mind of red pill. What you see in these dudes is not red pill, it is female hatred hiding behind a red pill label, hiding behind the label of being awakened. Because if you was really awakened, you will look around and see that we have way better, bigger problems than this, this stuff with women. The women are only doing because the system allows them to do it. They only get away with what they get away with because somebody at the very top wants it like that. Because they understand that through that woman, we're gonna break the family unit, which thereby breaks society. When you break the family unit, you break society. And they understood that women are so selfish. They like children. All they want is whatever makes them happy at the moment. They understood that. And even though they are not really winning under this stuff, the women, not, they're not aware of it. They think they're winning because they're beating you. But they're not winning. They're down here losing right with the right with the rest of us. But it's the job of the man to stand up and recognize that. It is not our job to sit here and be arguing with these women behind this dumb stuff. It is not our job to be sitting around here quoting dumb statistics on marriage and dating app statistics and all this crazy stuff. Like that dumbass girl y'all listen to Pearly talking about felons have 30% more children than non felons What kind of statistic is that? Who in the hell actually went through the data points, right? And did the research to come up with that statistic? You're talking about pulling something out of your butt. That is the quintessential example of a statistic that's been pulled out of somebody's ass just so they can say, you see, all these women want these no good men. But what makes a man bad because he's a felon? You know, some of the most honorable people I know I've met in prison. 
trust these dudes with my life, man. <laughs> you know what I'm so I mean, some of the most honorable dudes I've ever known I met in prison. Prison. Most of you dudes call yourself red pills. I wouldn't trust y'all far as I can see you. Hell, I wouldn't trust you that far because you could, you can see pretty far. I wouldn't trust you as far as I could throw you. They ain't far at all. Because you dudes are untrustworthy. Y'all have no character. And y'all don't care about character. Y'all not rebels. Y'all not awake. Y'all not trying to repel, uh, 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 rebel against anything. Y'all just hate women. Y'all have a problem with women. Some of these dudes and some of these women are using this topic for just financial reasons. And others of y'all are just, y'all really believe it. Y'all really believe it. Y'all are in a sunken place, man. Because if you was really red pill, you would look at the genetically modified food that they force feeding us. And you would have a problem with that. You will look at people like Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos buying up hundreds of acres of farmland. You will have a problem with that. No man should have a right to own more land than he can actually use. I don't care how much money you got. So because you got enough money, you can buy the globe. You can't buy the earth. You can't own everything. Money can't buy you every damn thing. And besides, who has the right to sell land to them? To, to them? That land belongs to people. That land is planted earth. No man has a right to claim more land than he can use. This is a problem. That's the mindset of red pill. Y'all don't even understand what y'all talking about. You are not awakened. You're still in the matrix. As much as I like Dr. T. Hassan Johnson, all this dude talking about his college education, he's in the matrix. He has not waken up. He has no interest in breaking this system. He wants this system just to work a little bit better for him. Dr. Claude Anderson, the same thing. He has no interest in breaking this system. Minister Farrakhan and the entire nation of Islam, the same way. They have no interest in breaking the system. I don't care how much they talk. They are not going against this system because I don't know how a man of God can actually walk through this stuff, through all this wickedness and not feel it. It should bother you to your soul. It should bother you to your bone. I have no, no, no understanding how a man of God could look at this stuff and be okay with it. Because I'm not okay with it. A real red pill man could not be okay with this stuff. He would be trying to break this stuff. He would be trying to figure out a way to break this matrix. He would be trying to figure out a way to come together with other men of other like minds and women of other like minds, not based on race, not based on ethnicity, based on belief systems and understanding. He will be trying to figure out how do we get together and break this, man? Because we can't let less than 500 people control a country of 300 plus million people. Our federal government consists of less than 500 people, man, that's in total control over us all. You can't find right in that. Man should not be governed by nothing but him and the laws of God. That is it. I, self, am Lord and Master. That's why we say we are Muslims. A man of peace should not feel comfortable walking through all of this chaos and wickedness. A man of God should not feel comfortable walking through all this chaos and wickedness. This is why we also say none has the right to legislate but Allah. Because what happens is when you have men writing laws, they only gonna benefit them and their own, their kind, their group. The laws that we should live under were already given to us by our creator. We don't need to be governed by a human being. We don't need to be ruled by a human being. We don't need to be controlled by a human being. We supposed to be autonomous and the earth supposed to belong to us all. We shouldn't have borders. We shouldn't need passports. All y'all talk about passport rules. We shouldn't need visas. We are earthlings. We were literally born and created from the elements of this thing. This is our natural home. We don't need nobody to govern us. And that's what a red pill mindset sounds like. Red pill man don't sit around and worry about women all goddamn day. That's not where my war is. That's not why where my battle is. I've been took the red pill. I don't think I was ever under the blue pill, to be honest. There's a certain way men like me are at birth. I mean, I was like this at birth. My mom would tell stories about me playing by myself for hours in peace. 
and then somebody would come over and, and try to play with me and they're like be touching my stuff and rearranging my stuff and she said I just start sneaking on them just ah, as a little bit of, I don't remember it though my mom said man you was always like that you fine by yourself you be by yourself you cool soon as somebody come over and start, start you know trying to dictate to you how you should do things say you should stay alone you should start swinging so I mean I guess I just came out the room like that I don't know I came out like that but that's the you know that's another topic though that I want to get into is that you know, a lot of y'all be talking about this metaphysical change and stuff, and y'all understand that men that move a certain way, they have very, very fundamental different cores. You know what I'm saying? Their being, everything on the inside is fundamentally different. And you would have to understand what's on the inside of them if you really want to try to change who you are in a certain way. Because the outside, this is the problem we talk about right now. Wearing the cloth of red pill don't make you red pill. Claiming that you are awakened, but you're only using that to target women, that's not awakened, bro. Come on, man, you don't see what's really going on? We slaves, we literally spend our entire lives working. Now they want you to work till you damn 70, with 60, 65 or something like that, and your life expectancy is 72. They want you to literally work till five minutes before you die. And y'all don't have a problem with that. Some of y'all brag about this. Oh man, I work hard, I work 40 hours a week, you lazy. Man, this ain't got nothing to do with being lazy. We are not supposed to work like that. We are not supposed to get up, man, go sit on nobody's job all goddamn day so that we can buy things that the earth provide to us for free that Allah has given to us already in abundance. We have no shortage of nothing on this planet. They are trying to create the shortage. But you know, capitalism just doesn't work. They talk about food shortages. When the last time have you gone to the grocery store and seen the garbage cans full of produce that they throw away every day, twice a day. They go through there twice a day throwing stuff away, twice a day. And that's one grocery store that you see, and you got, you got 50 grocery stores in your area doing the same thing. You know how many tons of food get thrown away, fresh food that they could have sold that they won't sell? They won't even put it on sale so that you can get it cheaper when it gets old. They rather let it sit there and rot before they give it to people. And you think that that's okay? You call yourself red pill and you sitting around looking at that? and that don't bother you? You walking down the street and you see young people are homeless and all you can do is poke your chest out? See, if they were lazy, they probably got career uh, convictions and most of them people ain't got no convictions. Most of them people ain't lazy. This system is hard to survive in. It's not designed for everybody. It, it's, the opposition is real. It's just not designed for everybody to succeed in it. If it was too easy, too many people be going through it too easily. They don't want that. This is how it was back in the 50s and the 40s, even the 60s and 70s. Life was easy. Man, when I was growing up, life was good. I mean, people barely worked, retired at like 50. Life was good, bro. And now you can't do none of that. You can't do none of it. They want you to work and work and work and work and work and work and work. And you dudes identify yourselves by it. I'm not lazy. I got a job. I get out here. Right? I get up. Say, but that's not cool, man. We're not supposed to work like that, bro. It's not about being lazy. Jobs are unnatural. Your natural inclination should be to oppose that. See, that's what y'all understand about the Pookie and Ray Ray again. They are rejecting an unnatural way of living. That's all they're doing. There's something in them that don't want to participate. That's the spirit that we need. But we need them to be a little more civilized. They need to be led by somebody with some brains. Now y'all dudes claim to be smart. Y'all should be able to be the leaders, right? Y'all claim to be the ones that's so intellectually inclined. So y'all should be the leaders, but y'all don't even want to change the system. Y'all have no interest in changing this evil. Y'all have no interest in going against this evil. A red pill man would not like this way that we live. A truly awakened man would not like how we live. The matrix was about a, the, a system. It was about going against the systemic oppression and enslavement of humanity. That's what the matrix is about. It was not supposed to be used 
as some type of analogy dealing with women, truth against the gynocracy. If you think we live in a woman-controlled society, you dumb as hell. We live, we live no more in a, in a gynocracy, or it's properly pronounced gynocracy. We live no more in a gynocracy than we do in, 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 a, in a patriarch. It don't exist. Everything you see going on in society is top down. It is allowed and it is, it, it is initiated and it is established by top down powers. These people just understood that if you really want to control this thing, you got to divide people on every level. That includes family. You got to divide them. And unfortunately, this is where our women are wrong. They fell for it, hook, line, and sinker. They did what women do. Unfortunately, you men are no better. If they created a system where y'all had the upper hand, y'all would abuse the women too. This is why women get beat in some of these countries over there, in other countries. Get misused and abused. Y'all think these women are mild man and quiet. No, they, they're afraid. They, they, they're scared for their damn lives over there. And y'all think something is wrong, right with that. A real red pill man would not want to see women going through that. A real red pill man would not want to see nobody abused and, and, and mistreated like that. But what y'all really want is for the system just to give it to you. Give the power to the man. If you was really red pill, bro, the power we already is already in you. If you was a real alpha man, you would understand the power is already in you. God gave you the power. System can't take it from you. They can't legislate this out of you. They can come with all the social movements they want. They can't change my manhood. I'm going to be me no matter what they do. And I'm going to still live my way no matter what they do. See, I'm not afraid of what they're going to try to do to me, man. I've been on the front line of this battle my entire life. I'm not, scared of, I'm not scared of them because I am really red pill. I woke up a long time ago. Again, I believe I was a natural born child in Zion. I don't think I was ever in the matrix. I was born outside of it. Because I, I, I was never, I was never fascinated by their world. But the problem is I am true red pill. Because a red pill man fights against oppression, wickedness, evil, against systemic oppression. A red pill man is not worrying about oppressing somebody else. This is why I talk the way I talk. Because we fight against oppression. I can't turn around and say I want to oppress women when I fight against oppression. I want everybody to be free. I want everybody to be happy. I want the system to go because that's what a true red pill would do. So now you know that these dudes around here talking about red pill is an analogy for truth and everything. No, it's not. It may be in the movie. It may be in the book that was originally written by a sister. It may be there. But what these dudes do in this online world, that is not red pill. They've done a typical thing. These white men have taken something and, and, and perverted it. That's what they always do. Take something that's pure and pervert it. Just like the white feminists took the damn rainbow, which is for little girls, little kids, and now they made it a symbol for their, uh, for, for their way of life. How, how wicked can you be to do something like that. Who would take the rainbow and pervert it? Who would touch that? It's for children. Who would touch that? Who would touch the dolphin? Then they first they took our back power fist and used that, took that and made it their symbol. Thanks to all the black women that joined them. Then they go take the rainbow and the dolphin. Just like they took with the swastika and all that stuff. These are all ancient black symbols that, that had nothing to do with anything evil. They take it and they pervert it. It's what they do. They took the whole red pill concept and perverted it. And all you brothers follow them down that rabbit hole. And now y'all look like damn fools sitting online defending this stuff. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm out of here. Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. Salam.